Good day, guys. Um, well, this is the beginning of the, of the start of my story of making a crossbow. Um, this story started about one and a half years ago when my small son bought a plastic Chinese crappy crossbow at an auction yard. Uh, it took him <laughs> it took about uh, 20 minutes for him to play with and then it broke down. So what a good father would do is try to repair it. Well, it didn't work. So I had to rebuild the thing. Um, just from a piece of timber, I uh, modified it a little bit, uh, put in a PVC string, and well, as you can see, it came out pretty nice, if I may actually uh, say so. And the damn thing really took a punch. Because when I load it, and I put a, a little dotted arrow in, it works. So after that great story, I thought, okay, I can do this for myself, um, but I want to do it differently. At uh, I want to do a different thing. So, what did I do? Uh, I always had a passion for antique weapons, and I found out that the Chinese, uh, about two thousand years ago, they made a repeating crossbow. Well, I looked it up, looked at some movies of it, uh, YouTube, very very fond of it. It works, but that's all you can say about it. So I thought, okay, maybe I can do it better. Um, I looked up YouTube, see if I can find uh, other guys who are ma make, making uh, repeating crossbows with a with a bottom loading and uh, bottom loader uh, arrows, and uh, only found one guy really who actually made it work. Um, it was a German guy, which I will put his link in the comments. Um, it worked, but that was about the only thing you could say about it. So, I took the gun of my dad. It's an air rifle, uh, five and a half millimeters of uh, small lead bullets. And I took the base of it to create my own crossbow. Well, if you can say it, it's not a big, uh, not a big thing. Just some, uh, some arch wood. So I went to the local wood shop, got me a piece of wood, milled it over, and this is the end result. Huh? You can see uh, the <laughs> similarity, only it has a bigger bottom. Well, what does the bigger bottom do? This part is which houses a cartridge full of arrows. And it's made of two pieces of wood. I can uh, split it. And this is how you can see how the inside looks. Um, the inside houses, what I could say, it houses the arrows. These are small arrows, arrows I bought from a local uh, from a local archery shop. And those arrows are those just the very simple plastic ones. I mean, yeah, we had to start somewhere. Um, so I made a, an incision in the wood. I milled it out, as you can see, so that the arrow lies like this. Well, if you look at it from the side, then you see it has a transporting mechanism, so it goes up and down. It's loaded by a spring, which I will show in a few minutes. And uh, what it would actually do is, when the spring pushes it up, it uh, locks the arrow in place, the bow gets cocked, you you shoot it, and uh, when you recock it, the new arrow automatically comes up. Um, so, how does this actually work? I'll show you. I'll put a few uh, few uh, few arrows in of different colors, just so you can see how it works. A little bit of fumbling around here. I just made a, I made a spring myself. It uh, consists of a of a driver head, which has a a small incision. I don't know if you can see it right, where the arrow lies. Just the spring and the bottom part. So this is how it uh, how it looks. You can put this part in from the bottom, slides up, pushing the arrow 
pushing the arrow exactly where it needs to be. But how does the recocking mechanism work? Uh, well, um, in the next part, okay?